I survived Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's time to talk about it. Let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Club CXFM, brought to you by WeAreCritics.com, a place where we talk about movies, television, pop culture. And if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe key and that notification bell so you can be up to speed about everything that I talk about here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is the weekend. October 27th is coming, and Five Nights at Freddy's is coming with it. And I've had the opportunity to check it out. But before I talk about what did I think, for those of you living under a rock, let me talk about what Five Nights at Freddy's is. Five Nights at Freddy's is a 2014 very popular video game that's kind of in the vein of, say, a Chuck E. Cheese franchise uh, in a horror setting. That's right. You have to survive nights in Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria and diner. Uh, and I'm telling you, it gets super creepy. Now, full disclosure, I have never been a part of this phenomenon i've never played this game but as an outsider coming in let me break down what i thought about this film now <laughs> it stars and of course it's helmed by the producers of bloomhouse you guys all know bloomhouse they are they're taking on everything horror these days um and it stars josh hutchinson uh piper rubio uh elizabeth Lail, and of course the return of Matthew Lillard in a horror film. Come on, guys. It's a no-brainer formula, and it's Five Nights at Freddy's, and everybody loves Five Nights at Freddy's, even the people who don't know anything about it, like myself. I've, I've heard of it. I know exactly what it is, but I've never actually had a chance to ever play the game. It was way after my time, and I'm not really big on the gaming thing. But when I saw that this, this movie was coming out, I immediately got interested because, one, it was Blumhouse, and two... I've heard really creepy things about this game, so I wanted to see what they were going to do with it. Now, um, let me give you a little bit of what to expect. This thing, uh, it knows exactly what it is. It's very, it takes itself seriously. The scares aren't cheap. It takes itself very seriously, but at the same time, it knows exactly what it is, and it knows how wild and bonkers, uh, you know, the story is, and they kind of, you know, use that to stretch the imagination a little bit. Um, with that being said, this film, I feel as though, and Jason Bloom said it himself, so after watching it, he says that this, in order for this film to work, it had to be for the Five Nights at Freddy's fans. And that is exactly what this is, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. Although I enjoyed myself, I felt a little left out because the crowd that I was watching it with was so into it. They were so in tune, cheering, and just, you know, just really clapping along. There's some cameos in this thing of people who I ain't know nothing about, but the fans knew. And they were, they were, they were all in on the ride. They had a really great time and even gave it a, you know, a clapping ovation at the end. Um, but... Being an outsider coming in, I still enjoyed it for its weirdness and bonker and creepiness, but I didn't, I, I wish, I just wished that I knew a little bit more about this property. Like, I wish I played the game. That's how it made me feel. Like, I felt left out because of how everyone around me was enjoying it. Um, so, I would recommend that if you're watching this film and you are a huge fan, you may enjoy watching this with someone who's fresh to it, watching and experiencing it through their eyes because you're going to know a lot of the nuances that go on in this thing. But for people like me who went in there and watched it, still enjoyed it. I still thought it was weird as hell, um, but it it was entertaining. But I still felt a little left out because I'm, I'm not like a diehard um, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, fan, so to speak. Um, Josh Hutchinson does a great job carrying this film. Um, I've never seen him. He's in his, he's in his grown up phase, uh, and he's doing a really good job in this, in this, in this film. Um, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Lail, who a lot of us will probably remember from the movie Countdown, which was another Blo uh, Bloomhouse production. If you guys don't remember, that was about the app that if you check the app, it tells you when you're going to die. And, <laughs> and, and then once it counts down, you're done. There's some kind of entity that kills you. Um, she does a phenomenal job in her role as well. Um, Matthew Little, of course, Matthew Little. I don't want to talk more about him, but what, the guy's a horror, horror icon. Um, the only gripe that I probably had was the, was the acting. And no fault to her, but the newcomer, Piper, she, you know, she's young. Probably a first role. I don't really remember seeing her in anything else. She's a little weak in this film. And there are other kids in this movie, too, who do a damn good job at their creepiness and everything that they're supposed to do. But she was probably the weakest one in this whole thing. So a lot of people did and probably will have a little bit of an issue with 
the acting around her and maybe even Elizabeth, but I, it didn't bother me that much. I was probably, I was, I was in tune with what was going on and I understood the, the assignment of what this film was trying to do. Um, it is a PG-13 film, so there's not a lot of gore in this thing, but it, it still manages to keep its creepiness, particularly of around a certain song that gets played in this thing. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but for those of you who are fans of the game, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. But there is a, a song in this thing that plays a lot. And even though it's a real song and it's not meant to be creepy, it just came off as just creepy every time it played in the movie. Um, and then even leaving the theater, it's like playing in the back of my head and I'm like, wow this song is just kind of when you read the read the lyrics and shit it's it's really it really plays on your mind so yeah it, it really nail, i think it nails the creepy aspect of what five nights at freddy's is um and what and what it's supposed to be um you get a lot of the you, you don't get a lot of the lore for those of you who know the lore but you get enough for setup i'll say that you get enough for setup so maybe who knows maybe there will be a five nights at freddy's too um I didn't have a problem with what, what, what I saw. What, would I go see another one? I probably would because they, they did a decent job for what it was. The overall storyline, though, within the lore, um, I'm, this part I'm not sure how much of it is in the lore, but it did have a bit of a The Shining vibe uh, meets Black Phone, if you guys have seen any of those movies. Black Phone, which is another Blumhouse film uh, that came out. Uh, over the years and yeah it kind of gave me that kind of vibe uh, as far as um, some of the storyline that's going on but um, and, 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 it, and it stretches the imagination like I said as much as it possibly can without feeling like okay this is just too crazy bonkers off the wall for people to comprehend but I will say for myself as a newcomer coming in um, I really had a lot of fun watching this movie. It's not the perfect movie. It's not the best movie. It's not even the best horror movie. So at some points, you're going to question whether or not this is a horror movie. Um, but then it reels it in and goes straight st straight for the bullseye uh, towards the end. Like I said, this thing was for the fans. They cheered a lot, especially towards the third act. It was everything that they wanted, and I was in for the ride just watching the vibe off of everybody in the room with me. So I don't have anything really to say about Five Nights at Freddy's, except it was very entertaining. Um, it was great to see all these players, especially Matt Lillard and, and uh, Josh Hutchinson do their thing as, you know, where they are in their, in their stage and career. Um, and I would recommend you check this out, guys, whether you watch it at home or see it at the theater, especially, especially if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. I think this is going to be something for everyone the film the film will be day and date so that means that it will be in theaters and on peacock simultaneously at the same time so you might be able to save yourself some bucks and stay at home and watch this thing or you can make it a night with the fellas and the girls and go out and and go watch this thing because um it's definitely the perfect thing for the halloween season i will tell you that Again, guys, girls, let me know. Are you super excited to see this? I've been hearing people have been buzzing and telling me they're so excited to see this movie. Uh, like, comment, share. Make sure you subscribe. And for more movie news, television news, and pop culture, guys, check out wearecritics.com. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.